hit the fucking button? Oh, there it goes. Just hey, the how's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start off with the dumpster fire. All right, this is episode 94 of the Offsetter Archers. This is Anthony. It's fucking trash heap of an opening. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> and this Fuck is it, Stephanie. we're going to run with it. <laughs> God. After all this time, you can't even get the... I still suck at openings. Man, you get nervous for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. And it's just us here. There's no one around. Yeah, yeah, you would imagine that someone else is in this room watching us, but nope, it's just our... That live episode we were on, whew, you were nervous. I was like, yeah, it's just like any yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't like being on camera to fucking begin with. Yeah, that's all right. So, but We'll eventually be on camera. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a, a 1080p webcam now that we can actually do... Uh, video episodes of the podcast but we have to set up our little corner here and get a tripod See how for everything's it. gonna be set up and, yeah and whatnot. get a game plan for it so maybe by episode 100 and so that gives us what maybe i gotta brush at my hair at least two weeks two six two weeks two at least two, two months weeks. yeah yeah at least <laughs> two weeks. tom hanks at least two weeks um uh at least two months before we probably start that so that was a good movie i forgot what that the money pit. That's the money right. Pit. The money yeah, pit. Yeah. I How always long is it going to take? Two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back when we were doing electrical contracting work, man, the, the dude Chris that we had, that was his favorite fucking response to <laughs> anybody. Weeks. We had to do this remodel one time on a, a big, large condo building. An asbestos filled. Yeah. It was fucking built old. All the ceilings were coated in asbestos, and it had to have some Florida required fire alarm system upgrade where we had to drill through walls put pipes on all this other but shit but we weren't allowed to drill through walls because it would be hitting asbestos yeah 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 so. there's all sorts of these crazy rules that they were trying to give us where they were like there was already a hole in the wall here and that's where you have to pass through it's like the hell why is there <laughs> already you, a hole in the wall you guys licking the asbestos up in here yeah 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 and uh every time someone asks him a question oh how long is this gonna take two weeks two weeks two and a half weeks later how long is this gonna take two weeks <laughs> so that was his favorite response for everything so so we're all about that drama oh god i think that was the word i was looking for remember no, the last gossip time is gossip the yes you for and gossip episode. was the word yes gossip was the the word that <laughs> evaded stephanie's me. brain in fucking meltdown mode last week yeah i think i was in the shower and i randomly just thought about it i was like oh shit mm -hmm. it's gossip <laughs> Yep, you came out of the shower. You were like, the word is fucking gossip. That's what I was looking for. Don't I feel like a moron? Yeah, that was, that was funny, though. So, it was amusing. <laughs> so, the whole thing, I think in our last episode, from where we were, was Archery Hooligan was basically, he's like the, the three-ring circus, the, the little TV show, the reality show going on for mm -hmm. Archery right now. And it's easier to pay attention to him Right now, because there's nothing going on. Yeah, no. Except no. for archery, the shooters have turned into fishers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, between Jack and Levi catching these monstrosities, especially Jack, man. Jack's no, Paige pulling... is also into fishing now, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, I've been watching been Paige's, like, Not Paige, archery. maybe. Uh, no, it was Paige. Was it? Okay, yeah. I've been watching, like, her archery tip videos, and that's where I keep getting all the torque tuning shit and blah, 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 blah. Torque but, you know. tuning? Yes, torque. No, not torque <laughs> tuning, okay? Torque. Torque tuning. Said... I didn't say torque. I said torque. You okay. just get a visual image of that? Yes, I did. <laughs> horribly. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Paige's episode of torque tuning. What? <laughs> She'd get a lot of hits. She probably would. She'd probably get a fuck ton. Uh, you get the actual pin uh, of what's on YouTube. And you just show the behind shot. Watch Paige turn around and ass start bouncing. You'd be like, what the... <laughs> Where they do one of those boomerang videos, so it just keeps rolling and her over boyfriend and over. Tate's in the background, like just looking all lost and helpless, like what the fuck do I do? The hands up, like what? Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. So basically, you got Archery Hooligan. He was putting, he was doing meme after meme of Tog and Elite. So, which is the the outdoor group, which is basically the owners of or the the parent company over Elite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, I guess besides that, <clears throat> like Jack's uh, face mask for the uh, the COVID nineteen mask. Where oh yeah, we had, Jack Wallace's grin on it. Yeah, the new uh, COVID mask where yeah, you could yeah. be your favorite shooter. <laughs> to be your favorite shooter, and you get Jack <laughs> Wallace's epic fucking mustache. So basically, he got and he he posted this three days ago, and it, he basically he basically got a cease and desist letter from Tog, the archery group. The outdoor group. 
The outdoor group. Oh, wow. It's not even not a tag. no. <laughs> it's not tag. It's tog. Tog. <laughs> tog. Tog. <laughs> I'm special. I really do wish sometimes I had my gaming <laughs> headsets group. fucking voice editing so I can make it to Peanut from uh, Jim Jeff Dunham. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Tog. Yeah. <laughs> Some shit like that. Oh, man. No, yeah. So funny. the outdoor group, the archery group. Is there even an archery group? Yeah, there's several archery groups. Everywhere you look, there's an archery group. But I mean, company wise. Probably. It's probably something called Tag. I would imagine. <laughs> But this is not tag. This is tog. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh! So he basically got a cease and desist. It's basically the everybody got bought her. <laughs> the, the little kids being he's he doesn't like being picked on anymore, and he wants him to stop saying all these these things online. So he ran to his parents, and his parents are talking to Archer Hooligan's parents, and mm-hmm. tell them to be nice. Somebody ran to the lawyer. Mm-hmm. But it's funny because, you know, they'll go out of their way right now to do this. But shouldn't they spend all their lawyer fees on something more productive? Yeah, like changing the name of the cure to the fucking COVID. Yeah, no, so the, the, you know the kaboombos <laughs> <laughs> that they fucking made, and stop paying all the insta hoes to try and sell their shit. I don't know. You know, that's it, kind of well, I. I guess the lawyer needs money too. The lawyer needs. Of course, the lawyer needs money. They're from fucking New York. Or well, I wonder if they're they're looking at their expenses and being like, you know what, we're paying this guy just to have in case we need him, and they're paying him anyway. And they're like, you know what, we need to start using this guy. Who's on our list of people to sue? I mean, people to complain about. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and like, we're okay. twenty million in the hole. Uh, Go after this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And watch now that after all this is said and done, maybe they'll they'll start paying people. Who knows? But probably not. Probably, no, not. probably not. Probably not. Chapter thirteen, somewhere down the line. I don't know, but it's stuff like this that you just bring horrible light. No matter who is right, who is wrong, when you do stuff like this, and you know for a fact he's gonna he's gonna black out specific names. Yeah. Except for the AKA Arch- Archery Hooligan, and and Tog. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to post it. Do you think that's not whether you're right or wrong? The elite could be like 100% right. Yeah. But it still makes you look like a bunch of assholes. I agree. So just, I would just leave it. I mean, they're memes for, for freak's sake. Yeah, I, I totally like, agree. Like, it's just harmless. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's your bows are either going to sell themselves and make you look, your company look great, or they're going to explode and make your company look bad it's so funny i mean because if you look at the memes from everyone else's shit you know the memes about pse pull shoot explode there's been a thousand of those fucking memes right thousands you know hoyt everyone you know you know uh, uh, not hoyt i was gonna say matthews is the next easiest one because you see those memes where it's like a PSE shooter, and they all look like the dudes in the woods, and you know, jeans, flannel shirts, whatever. And then you got the Matthew shooters photos, and there's a bunch of dudes in business suits with fucking <laughs> spectacle lenses and shit. You know, the guys from Hoyt look like a bunch of fucking Mormons, all dressed up, nice, prepped up for fucking church. So, you know, it, with that thin black tie. Yeah, yeah, and, and and what you know, what do you say about some of these other companies? I mean, the the positive you see from Bowtech is Page. To twerking. Me, I don't really twerking. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's get twerking page go going. Um, Botex the twerking. Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you know, can see that you can uh, do a little pose to her, and you you double up. You do like the the um the extras, and they're all twerking side by side. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> no, but it's it, it's so true. I mean, you, you see all these fucking memes about everybody. Everyone's getting memes about them. And to me, it's just, it, it, it's so, so funny how this one company seemed to really take it on the fucking chin. Yeah, it's just like obsession. Yeah, really. That, 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 well, yeah, and that, where have they been this past little bit? Crickets. That's yep. where. <laughs> That's exactly. And no one's talking about their bows either. No. Nothing no, new coming no. out. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, what happens, and Nothing. that's what the worst part is. All right, you know, because like I mean, we've mentioned, like just from obsession, all right, their shit is still on on fucking clearance everywhere, mm-hmm. right? And uh, 
you know, I, I mentioned all the fucking Facebook forums for sale and this and that and all the different groups. Dude, there are people on them right now trying to sell up session bows and like 400, 400 to your door, man. Blah, 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 blah. It's a great fucking deal. And people are like, fuck you, bitch. I'll give you 125 because in two months, I'm never going to be able to get parts for that fucking thing again. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, these dudes are brutal. Yep. Fucking brutal. It's I'm like, like buying a Daewoo. For the new generation, they're like a day. Oh no, day woos! You might have been able to take one of the VCRs apart and fix the fucking car. That's I mean, true. It's multi-purpose. They had so many electronics <laughs> in the same shit. When so. your car stops running, you can bring it into your house and build a, a yeah. VCR and I mean, projector. Fuck! I remember working on day woos. Those fucking computers were so damn sensitive. You could probably have jump started a day woo with a Samsung fucking Note. And I wonder if any of the new generation even knows what a day woo is. The newer crowd. Fuck no. <laughs> There is no one past your cousin Jessica's age that knows what the fuck a Daewoo is. Oh, man. I remember years and years and years ago, I was, I was in high school, and I remember seeing an ad in the paper that they were advertising, buy a Daewoo, get a Daewoo free. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had, I had people taking the paper, and then they're showing me, and they're like, yeah, we're going to go up to the dealership and get the coupon, and they're going to give us a Daewoo free. I'm like... Uh, it's a VCR. <laughs> all right, and the, the people at the dealership. It had to have been going on like all day since that ad. Oh yeah, been mm -hmm. because they're like, no, it's it's a VCR, or they had right. like a couple electronics. But the thing was, if someone wanted to, they could have probably sued him for that. Oh, I know, because they never put it in the actual fine print. Well, that happened when we lived in Florida. With the, uh, there was some fucking stupid coupon that Dodge released, where it was like, oh, it was like twenty dollars, uh, thousand no, dollars off that. a car. Yeah, it was twenty dollars. It was a thousand dollars off a <laughs> car if you brought you this plate. coupon from the newspaper in. Mm -hmm. And some dude went out and bought a hundred and thirty-five fucking newspapers and went in there with a hundred and thirty-five coupons. Yep. Nothing on the coupons about you cannot combine nothing on nothing. There was no fucking the exemptions. Restrictions yeah, or, no yeah. restric restrictions, no exemptions, nothing. He tried to buy a Viper. <laughs> they wouldn't give him a Viper. He fucking sued them. They gave him a Viper. <laughs> <laughs> so, and because of people like him. He paid his lawyer $2,000 and walked out with a $140,000 mm -hmm. Viper. <laughs> so, And it's people like that and situations like that. Why you see at the bottom of every ad, there's like a 50 page restrictions may apply. Yeah, and you get the guy Fine from print. Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the the movie where the kid fucks the uh, apple pie? American Pie. Yeah. Well, I just fucked that up. But <laughs> the father's the one that used to do all those high speed talking commercials. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was him. So <laughs> that's where you hear his voice in the background and go, blah, 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 blah. And like, what the hell did he just rattle off? Am I going to get a disease from signing this fucking paper? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, so um, besides that, going back to Archer Hilgen, because mm -hmm. I completely lost track of how he even got, <laughs> got that far. I don't know. I'll probably look, figure it out I when I re listen know. to the episode like I do every time. <laughs> anyway, uh, the last one that he, he posted a day ago was basically. The, it was a picture of, and it was titled, The Ceremonial Passing of the Torch. And there's one arm stretched out with a big black... Flaming dildo. Fl I'll just say it for you. <laughs> flaming dildo. I was thinking of an appropriate... It's a big black flaming cock. <laughs> what the fuck it is? There's no appropriate way to say... <laughs> dildo just lets everyone know it's plastic like, or rubber or whatever the fuck that, you know. You know, it's... A <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no way for you to get around that. It's either going to say a big black flaming cock or a big black <laughs> flaming dildo. Pick one. A penis. No. <laughs> that, doesn't make, that makes it sound fucking stupid. Okay? <laughs> it's a big black flaming penis. It takes no. away its <laughs> massiveness. It does. It makes it sound tiny. Instead uh -uh. of coming in with a bang, it comes in frolicking. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> oh my god! Do you like my hair? Mm -hmm. It's flaming. It's flaming. <laughs> so yeah, and then the arm holding it because it actually says archery memes on it, and the the hand holding it says archery fucking hooligan, and it's passing it to another hand outstretched, 
archery let down. Right, which we've mentioned him before too. So it seems that during this due process of please stop talking about us. Hooligan is taking a little bit of a vacation. Yep, he's taking a vacation, but it's, I guess, going uh, into archery letdown. And I just noticed a comment by Ultraview Archery. That torch looks 3D printed. I wonder if they're saying maybe they might 3D print one. No, I couldn't. I could not see Colby doing that shit. <laughs> it's on one of the printers in the back. I could see that possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, there, there would have to be some kind of workaround where maybe twer- Chris B handed it off to them. You <laughs> a know, twerk around. A twerk around. Yeah, we got to get a twerk with, around with Bowtech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the reach around a bit. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Um, she know. twerks the handoff. Yeah, yeah she twerks. <laughs> She releases it with her ass cheeks. Poo. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. That I don't know. You never know. You never know. But then he would he would need to know who's Archery Hooligan. Which would connect him to Ultraview, so it could be one of them. I don't know, man. I, I really can't see. I can't see it being a business owner. I really can't. No, I never said it could be a business owner. It could just be part of... Ultraview is Colby. No, but they got a crew. All businesses... He's got like two people. All businesses have crews. And right now, he's got enough shit going on. They got followers. I, the they, front, got crews. they got followers. They got, yes. they got friends. Every he person's got friends. still has a bunch of fucking problems going on for himself. Because his new... Um, his new grip that he's made, the one that's With, Chris, for Crispy's for Crispy. Well, they make an Ultra View version and they make a Crispy version, right? Um, people are complaining about him. Why? People always complain. No, about no, you, you, like, are they just not sitting right? Are they, they no, not? No, they're three D printed and shit like that. But you can see the lines in the three D print. Like it's a shit, and I and I'm new to three D printing. It's a really, really bad like shifting problem. How wait? How much are they going for right now? I don't know. I have no interest in them. No, 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 no. I was saying it more of a uh, if it's actually not a holy shit that's expensive price, and it's like I, a I think oh it's like, not too bad. Oh, damn it, actually ordering that. one and seeing what it looks like in person. You are thinking about ordering one. Do, it would go are on you your part bow. of this conversation? Are It'll you at the table your right bow. now? It's set up for an engaged bow. No, I don't mean. Well, just to try it out. Yeah. Um. Shit, I have to look it up. up. Fuck, man. Because if people are, are saying me that, on I the mean, spot, you bitch. Fuck, <laughs> man. How could you call her that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Slow your roll. <laughs> Slow your roll. She calls me much worse throughout the day. <laughs> no, I do not. I'm you an angel. Fucking so do. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Fucking doing something, you walk by like fucking dickhead. No, but I mean, no, because if if people are actually saying that they hated this and they hate no, no, like there's some people are posting like close up views, and uh, I've actually you know, and being new to it, I I'm trying to learn as much shit as I can. Well, it's seventy five bucks. Okay. Okay, so it's really not too. It's still an expensive grip. I mean, granted, the the HDA that I have on the Halon retails for like one thirty, right? But that's solid fucking metal. Um, people are posting close-up views of it, and you can see where it's not, or at least the the couple that have been posted. I don't know about if there's any been any revisions or whatever. You can see the shifting. The layers are not laying directly on one another, right? And it doesn't look like there's like a quality. At least from the ones I've seen, it doesn't look like there's a quality control aspect before they put the outer layers of the grip on it, which yeah. is like the little beehive texturing or what yeah, the fuck yeah. Like, um, where are they, they're smoothing it out. They're not. They're just letting it fucking roll. Are they doing it just for Matthews bows because he's with Matthews now, or are they doing it for multiple companies? No, they companies? make uh, they make Hoyt release um, Hoyt releases. They make Hoyt grips. They make Matthews grips. They have versions that fit my bow. They have versions that fit your bow, and so on. This could be something that we could look into to see. That's for up to you. I mean, if you want to try a different grip on your bow, that's fucking fine and dandy with me. It's all about content. I want the fucking <laughs> scope. That's you what want I want. This, I want, want the f- shut up! <laughs> oh my god! 
See, see. Oh, no. oh, my God. I don't know. We can look into it. I don't want that. Try some things out. Who got the thousand dollar bow? Yeah. The, so back to the, the archery. Three hundred plus dollar sight and the two hundred and fifty plus dollar rest. Mm, not me. Oh, I'm sorry. My mic, uh, my much, headphones cut out on how, that one. How what much was that saying? rest that's on my inertia right now? <laughs> oh, forty four dollars. Hey, that's something that you wanted. Actually, I'm impressed with it so far. I'm, yeah, there you granted, go. Granted, all right. So I mentioned in the last episode, I was getting. I wanted to try it, so I said, "Fuck it," and bought it. I have a Trophy Ridge Sync MD. MD stands for micro drive. Basically, it's micro adjustable. I set it up on the inertia, and um, some of the aspects of it are a little chintzy, I guess, is it? or cheapish, I guess, because like you have to remove posts to move it up to the next spot in case you have to go oh. with the rest higher or lower, whatever. <laughs> but I mean, right now, after I get it all locked down and shit like that, oh my God. <laughs> Whose is that on? <laughs> Down. Oh, four hours God. ago okay so i gotta fill in real quick so archery let down put up in his story it's uh an option where you can pick one and you can see the percentage of people who actually chose that option would you rather with questioning face con uh contract covid 19 mm -hmm. or join elites pro staff hmm i'm gonna go with covid yeah, I've had pertussis Ooh, before. Ooh, 69%. Said COVID? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, I'm going to screenshot that. How do I get back to that? I want everyone to see this. This is funny. You can tap the left side of the screen. And oh, go no. I, I, ah. Screenshot. <clears throat> that could be interesting. So you were saying about your rest? It's 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 so far. I mean, it, <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> no, I, I got to get it set up the rest of the way. So next time I go to the range, I'll have Gabe Jordan or somebody, one of the guys, uh, tied into the down cable. And I'm, at, I'm right away. I can tell it's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's set up just like a QID. It snaps really, really fast. Right. So um, and I have enough clearance on it to keep it away from my arrow uh, veins, since, like I said, I've used the two and a half inch heat veins. So we'll we'll see. Uh, I want to see the speed difference from the Halon 32 at 70 pounds in comparison to my Inertia at 70 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting about 12 feet of difference since that's what it did. Uh, well, I should I don't know if I should even spec that high. But, you know, maybe eight feet a second right now because the strings on that on the Inertia are a year plus old. Right. So. You know, if it gets the 270 mark, that'll be fine. I know once I restring it, I can get it back up to the 72, 74 pounds or whatever. And uh, it should be able to send them 520 grain heavy ass arrows humming pretty well. Yeah. So. Fucking hogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they hit hard, though. They hit fucking hard. That's what she said. Mm hmm. That's right. That's what Tiger's wife said. Tiger's wife. No, actually, that's what he said. That's after what, she that's came after, after she him. fucking came after his ass at a <laughs> golf club. Like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> you got to watch who you marry. Mm hmm Listen, everyone, you have a crazy portion of your brain that just takes over every once in a while. Yeah, it's called Shark Week. Mm-hmm. Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter what they do during Shark Week, in the court of law... They could actually win. Yes, I know. Yeah. So if anything's going down between you and your spouse, you got to time it right. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, are you feeling broken this week? No. Mm. <laughs> I just send her flowers. Be extra That's nice. It. Exactly. But, yeah. I just posted up that screenshot so everyone can see what I'm talking about. Okay. And those only last, like, what, 24 hours? Yes, they're on their uh, 24 hours. Yeah. Wow. 69% of people would prefer getting COVID over joining Elite's Pro Staff. That is so fucking funny. I'm part of the 69%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if they'll want to sue everyone who voted in that 69%. Probably. It's fine. <laughs> and the, th and the, the rest of the percentage that actually said the Pro Elite, they'll, uh, they'll be volunteers because they don't get paid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually They're probably asking for some of that Trump check fucking so they could support the company. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Holy cow. But yeah, this was not a bad time to be in a this was not a good time to be in the bad light of things while people are getting that archery money. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it's I don't know, man. It, all the shit that's going on right now. It's crazy. It is crazy. I, you know, a lot of companies are struggling and shit, and a lot of uh, shops are are having a very, very hard time. Well, yeah, because a lot of shops, they don't, they're not some multi-million dollar company. No, I know that. But you know? It it's... also depends on where you live. Like, here in South Carolina, where we are, our tree shops are allowed to stay open, which is good. Um, like I said, I've already been to our range. No dick. Yes. Um, so... <laughs> The Dick's Sporting Good or Dick's yes. Apparel got shut down. I don't get to that portion. <laughs> um, it also has a lot of stuff to do with the rules that the states themselves make. Like Steph mentioned, our state here, our fabulous governor of South Carolina here, has decided that a sporting goods store, if I remember how they worded this correctly, must be an actual full rounded sporting goods store. In other words, it must have uh, guns, fishing, blah, 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 sporting goods, like all around sporting goods, not just fucking clothing and basketball shorts and shit. You can look like a runner. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just a sneaker and fucking, you know, dress up like you're an athlete fucking store. Well, if you don't have the necessary shit to qualify to be considered an actual sporting goods store, you are to close down. Mm -hmm. Well. Looks like Dick Sporting Goods is shutting most of their fucking stores in South Carolina. I gotta say, from the time that they actually started doing that crap with the, oh, they are. we're on the 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 anti gun and we're not gonna sell guns anymore. And mm-hmm. man, the last time I was in their store, it, it was horrible. Yeah, it's went yeah. downhill. It, it was horrible. Even. The one here in Greenville is always empty. Yeah, but just the. After taking all that out, and I mean, it's basically just another clothing store. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an apparel store. And that's what got them disqualified from being considered a sporting goods store is because they don't carry any actual... Sporting goods? Sporting goods anymore. <laughs> For the most part. I mean, the one here in Greenville really doesn't. I mean... Well, and the one in New York, they were going out of business. Yeah, the one where we lived in Milltown, yeah. Man, growing up, I remember they were... That was the place to go for yeah. stuff. Yeah, when we were shit, when we were in New York, it was either you went to Dick's or you went to Sports Authority. And then Sports yeah. Authority went fucking bankrupt because they just overpricing fucked people everything up. Yeah, and then you know, fucking Dick's just turned out to be uh, some social justice warrior bullshit in disguise, and run by Dicks. Yanks their guns and yeah, 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 yeah. Guns get taken out. Next thing we knew, the archer equipment was disappearing, and whatever, man. It's like you're the ice cream man, and you go back, and you're all anti-sugar now. Yeah, yeah, You just yeah. sell cones. Like, I remember us when we lived in Middletown, and I'll blatantly admit it now, because we don't live there up there anymore. Um, like, I knew walking through uh, Dick's Sporting Goods the one day, when you yelled at me, because I came home with, like, three fucking sites and a couple things, and uh, you were like, oh, okay, how much did all this shit cost? I'm like, not what it was supposed to. All of this cost what one site should have. You've done that a couple times. Yeah, yeah. But (laughs) I I knew exactly what it was because the clown that was doing it was one of the people that worked in the store. Fucking six different color hair. And, you know, I seen the PETA fucking pin, which a dude in dicks in in an archery section should not be having no fucking PETA pin on. So I knew he was purposely mismarking fucking prices. Well, that's not very... he, He was marking everything like 80 and 90 percent down and i'm like i'll take a one of these and i will take a one of these and i just kept waiting for him to go down the fucking lane came it's, home i got like five four hundred dollars five hundred dollars with a shit in the bag what i pay for it 49.95 i don't remember this this yeah, had to be it was, pre, it was it was pre early us. early pre us no it wasn't pre us it was in the beginning of the fucking podcast. That's why we had like six hour arrests and everything in the closet. No. Yes, it was a long time ago. It was fucking three and a half, three years ago. It was in 16. I don't remember us ever getting anything from Dick's. It was always from Gander. It was always from Gander. 
No, we got a couple of things. From no, there. I never have. I. I don't know. Whatever. I well, do maybe not, it was before. Or before. I don't know. I it had to have been pre times. us. That's fine. It was some other girl. Some other girl. <laughs> whatever. I don't remember any other girl I, at this fucking point. We've been together half my goddamn life. Yeah, listen. It's that old timers kicking in. That's right. And because none of those bitches were worth it. <laughs> so. I we've always gotten it from Gander or online. Well, Gander's well, yeah. Dicks two years ago. Never, Gander, never. Yeah. I think we've been in Dicks looking at stuff, mm-hmm. and it was always just it. It was either at some like high point in the season, and everything was always full price, and we're right. like, nah, we're not doing this. So I don't. Oh, uh... Uh, whichever. So, but I don't know. It, it's. There's so much crazy shit going on, with especially in archery right now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's like there's nothing going on, but there's a whole lot going on. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the companies, which is kind of sad. You know, and uh, well, our state now is—I mean, they're beginning to open beaches and shit like that. I guess, <laughs> like Florida opening up the beach. Yeah, yeah. Who didn't see that shit coming? Someone opened Come the on. beach in fucking Florida, and like half hour after they opened the beach, it was packed. Yeah, and you think people are going to stay the the six feet away from each other? Yeah, no. Come on. Well, it's like even us today. I mean, we took the whole family out for the walk, got the two kids in the carriage and bottles of water and snacks and this, that, the other. And yep. no one in Greenville gives a fuck about this shit. No, it's not, it's not that. It's just that, you know, people are... Eh. It's tough because people are not going to just sit inside and do nothing. All the people that are like to be active and outside and, you know, and then you get the normal ones who are always on the trail. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like people are huddled together. There's a lot of people in passing. Well, that's but- the thing I think, too, is like everybody that was on that trail, like there was no one who looked like, I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Well, well there's no one who really like looked unhealthy. Yeah. Everybody was coasting along on their bikes, who was jogging, who was walking with their kids and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So no one really looked like, and that's what you get the vibe of is everyone's just like, I'm healthy. This shit ain't doing nothing to me. I'm probably one of those asymptomatic motherfuckers. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> shit. But, <laughs> you know, it gets tough because there's some spots up north that are a lot worse and there's some spots that are not really affected by it. Oh, yeah, much. yeah. So you can't. For us to sit here and say one thing is is going to be a different story somewhere else. Oh yeah. So it's a little tricky to you can't just put a blanket either. Oh no, they're trying to make it worse than it really is, or it's uh, you know people are just don't give a shit. And it's a little weird. It is strange. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's it is a funny situation right now. I'm sure if we were in one of the areas that was a lot worse, then oh, we'd yeah. probably have a different view on it. Probably. I mean, if we were where we used to live up in New York, there's a good chance of that. Yeah. You know, it, even though, I mean, at the end, before we moved here, Middletown really wasn't is populated, but it's not city populated. No, you but know, there's bad spots. There are there is bad spots, but it wasn't like, you know. Morris Park, just one section of the Bronx, Morris Park, that is like. All of Middletown's population, town, city, all How do you spell that? Nonstop. What? What you just said. What park? Morris Park. How do you spell it? Like your fucking family's maiden name, Morris. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not my maiden name. Your family's maiden name. Yeah. Your mother's, your aunt's. And my ancestry name. Yes. So I've always, because I remember, because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm city retarded, because I don't mm-hmm. know anything about the city, really. Yeah. And... Uh, I remember you always used to to talk about it, mm-hmm. and at one point I thought it was like Mars Park, like no Mars Mars Bar or, you know, like yes, the planet. I know what you're saying. Yes, yes, no Mars <laughs> Park. And you always used to slur everything together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's it comes out when you, if you're from there, it comes out like Mars Park. That's it. It comes out like really, really fast. Morris Park. Yeah, but no one says <laughs> Morris. It's Mars. And somehow that O becomes an A because everyone was fucking a W. It's like I call it dress a draw. Yeah, yeah. It's not a drawer. It's a draw. It's a draw. Yeah, exactly. It's a draw. That ER is silent at the end. Fuck those two letters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not a drawer. It's a draw. We kick those hippie errors out the door. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't no fucking purple teal hair in this fucking house, bitch ass. It's a goddamn draw. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Exactly. That, that, that's how everybody up north says it. Oh, my God. You know? 
You know, if I wanted to draw something, <laughs> I would draw Mickey Mouse on a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> you know? No, now, no, now you're just going to a whole different level of... That's what draw to me is. No, a, okay. To draw something yeah. is sketched. Yeah, I know that. A drawer is like a dresser drawer. It's spelled the same motherfucking way. No, it's not. Sure. Yes, I am 100% sure. And I'm sure our listeners out here that are very adept in the English language are like, this retard, I can't Probably. believe I'm listening to him. More. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. A drawing. A drawer with an E-R is a dresser drawer. I just pronounce it draw. To draw is to, like sketch. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> My Google just rattled off everything you just said. <laughs> You dumb dumb. How do you pronounce draw determines where you <laughs> hail from? <laughs> that's great. Fuck you, Google. Uh, no, that's actually so true. Oh, God damn it. No. <laughs> Stupid assistant. It's like, fuck you, Google. And it went to the next screen. I'm like, what? What was it? People like- in New York City say draw. People in, from the Midwest say drawer. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's actually so <laughs> I love this. Sometimes when you turn the assistant on, at such appropriate times, especially when Stephanie goes on a fucking rant, it'll come up with the craziest shit. Fuck you, (laughs) Jexy. That was a funny movie. Make a left turn. I can't. It's crossing six lanes of traffic. You pussy. Make a left turn. (laughs) Exactly. If you haven't seen Jexy yet, it's actually pretty funny. It's actually a good watch. But it is correctly how it's spelled. A dresser draw has the ER, and the to draw and sketch is no ER. Oh, all right. I always thought it was like the same way. No. Oh my gosh. Well, see, though, every time I wanted to go draw something, it was I was like drawer. Drawing? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I'm, fu- I'm fucking retarded, so. Just type in draw. I'm fine. That's fine. I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> I already feel stupid at the fucking moment. <laughs> Thanks. That's all right. It's your time to shine. That's the other fine. 98% is mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, but I do have to say on a, a, an outside note from, because uh, there's like hardly any archery going on. The movie that we just watched, because speaking of the city and how yeah, Long Island. dirty it is, we just watched that Bad Education movie. Yes, with Hugh Jackman. And how uh, that, uh, not Long, yeah, Long Island. Long Island. Long Island, the school that, Rosalind School, I think mm-hmm. it was. Rosalind School That the, the couple of the uppers in the school district like, yeah, stole $11.2 million friggin' dollars from the mm-hmm. school. In 2002. On the school's budget, two houses in the Hamptons, a house in Florida, all sorts of shit. Yeah. Which actually, by now, they should be all out of their sentence. Oh, yeah. They're probably all out. Yeah. And he was still getting his salary, too. Yeah, because of his contract. What a workaround that was. He gave the city the reach around on that one. Yeah, I know. That's what he fucking did. Jesus. Motherfucker was still making $174,000 a year because of his contract with the fucking state. In jail. So they had to pay his ass that money after he came out. It's great. I wonder if they try just making him pay everything back. No, because he goes to jail, so he doesn't... Served your time. That's it. Did the crime, served his time. Motherfucker, pay me. Wow. That's, that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a smart criminal. He should be teaching classes in jail. <laughs> Not really. I mean, he still went to jail. He got caught. I know. I know. It was because that student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn yeah. kids. Yeah, that, that, it, was, it was a good movie. I mean, very, you know... It's not a movie you're going to expect any, like, sort of crazy rises in the plot or whatever. It's just a nonstop steady burn. Yeah. You know, which, I mean, it, it, was, it, it is good. I mean, it shows you, like, the actual scandal. It's based on a true story, all this nonsense. So, pretty fucking cool. Fucking weird. Very strange seeing Hugh Jackman though, play a gay guy considering he was fucking Wolverine. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's what ever is an actor. What do you expect? That's their job. I don't know. It makes me glad I'm not an actor. <laughs> I don't know. You get you paid. You want me to do what? Yeah, but if they. You better add a zero, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he gets paid a lot of money to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does. I mean, HBO ain't got shallow pockets. That was an HBO movie. Yeah. You know. 
I don't know, but probably, after the Game probably of got Thrones, a fatter check if you would have went with a Netflix movie. But you know, Netflix is too big is busy giving Ryan Reynolds all of their fucking money. So and Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's movies are fucking trash. No, but they have a contract with them. To I make know they have a contract. His, his contract. He's been prepaid I will, for it. I could. It. Yeah, fine. He's been prepaid for it. I could almost probably bet the six movie deal that Adam Sandler had to make six trash fucking movies with Netflix. Ryan Reynolds <laughs> made more than that doing Six Underground. And the Hitman's Bodyguard. Okay, maybe two of them. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. And both of them are great. Hitman's bodyguard was great. Samuel L. Jackson's funny as shit, as always. That's you know, right. he, this man has solely by himself ruined the word motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you know, Six Underground was a great movie. It's like, oh, Adam Sandler made The Cobbler. Skip. I don't know. You know, I like some of his then movies. The, that, the, 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 the stupid six from the West or some shit that he made. That they made the kid from, um, the kid that played the werewolf from Twilight play the retard. Yeah. You know. The Hateful Eight. The, no. No, that, that's another that's Quentin actual, Tarantino movie. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a Kurt Russell, Samuel L. Jackson, and a whole bunch of people. But Adam Sandler had some good movies on it. On the new contract? I think they just do it as a spoof. All these actors, it's like a, hey, you it's guys bored? Money. Yeah, oh, yeah. sure. Let's. What do you want to do? Well, let's just shoot a movie real quick. But could you right. imagine, though? I mean, with a lot of these contracts. Probably just ad lib half that shit. Probably, yeah. Knowing Adam Sandler, you probably can. I don't take it seriously. I just watch it for what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, right now, there ain't no movies being made. I no. mean, the whole world's on and fucking lockdown. Like all this. Uh, whew, holy shit. Where did that come from? So all of these, like these memes and stuff like that on about archery and crap like that, that's the same thing. Mm-hmm. You just take it for what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucking funny. Okay, it's funny. That's it. It's not serious. Nothing beats the first day you saw <laughs> archery hooligan and let down his fucking pages. I have the photo on my phone of you literally laughing so hard you were crying because it's funny we were. Just talking about it and all the shit that we were talking no, 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 no. about. It wasn't we were. I was. I was like, yeah, this dude Archie Hooligan is funny as shit. It's funny. Blah 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 blah. You're like, me, 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 fucking me, 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 me. There was some I was crying on. You were laughing so hard, you were literally crying. The- it, it is it was funny. <laughs> so they had one in February with uh when that 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 Worthless piece of trash ripping up uh, Trump's Pelosi. Yeah, and it said as she's ripping it up that little clip. He says, "When you drop a nine on your first scoring, end of Vegas." Oh yeah, <laughs> rip your fucking fucking shit up because you're done. Oh, uh, I can't, cause it's just it's just funny. We it, it was just like a a good storm. It was like the perfect storm when I actually saw all of his stuff because we were watching the shoot. And we happen to be talking to this, and I don't know. It just, uh, it just worked out kind of really good. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm hoping, you know, like I said, our, our the shop we go to is open. So, the the only downside right now is other states don't have the uh the the more relaxed restrictions like we have here. You know, Matthews is I believe Matthews is shut down the factory, so they're not making any more bows right now. Yeah, and you actually, because we were talking about this before we actually started recording, that <clears throat> Hoyt is another one, and I looked on Hoyt's page, mm-hmm. and they're all about I guess if you own a Hoyt. And there's something wrong with it, and your archery shop is closed. They're willing. They they're fine if you call them directly. Say, hey, this is my problem, right. and they're willing to work to actually fix it. So if you need something fixed on your bow or or whatnot, I guess I guess you'll end up mailing. I don't know the actual specifics, but the fact that they're actually open to you know to work with people, right, is is good. See, that's the difference, man. We we bust on Hoyt a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I when do. it comes down to these little things, that's what makes it makes or break breaks a company. I think. Yeah. Is how you actually handle certain situations, how you deliver certain things, 
and you know it's your own shit and if you're gonna stand by it or not and and if you're not gonna cry it every time someone pokes fun right is, is yeah. what it is absolutely and these, these are the companies that are gonna stick around for a while like yep. they're, they're they've been here for a while and they're just gonna continue that way and that's mm-hmm. it you just gotta roll with the punches yeah, no, I I agree. I mean, I I don't see anything going on with the, Matthews. Like I said, right now, the I, I feel bad for anyone at Matthews because you know Wisconsin's rules are a bit more strict than what's going on here. So their factory, from what I understand, is shut down. Um, like uh, I believe Black Eagle is also well. Black Eagle might not be shut down anymore because George is opening everything. They're they're like, no, we're done with this nonsense. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. You know, we're, we'll be right behind them in South <laughs> Carolina here very shortly. You know, so it, it's New York and California, uh, probably PA, New Jersey, that whole area. Mm-hmm. There, and you got probably California, Washington. I don't know about Oregon, maybe Oregon, mm. but those are the two big areas that are probably going to be the last ones to open. Oh everything. yeah, yeah, the Northeast and the West Coast, and yeah. it's probably going to kill that whole area right to tell you the truth but no, i'm actually shocked that wisconsin's rules are so damn strict i don't you know? know that's a little that I mean, is the shocking. only big big area I, well, I, i'm not very familiar with wisconsin i mean but the only big area i've ever known about in wisconsin is fucking green bay cheese yeah the cheese heads you know so I, maybe there's more like populated areas where they're having issues up there i i, I don't know but you know, it, you never know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it, it's true. In my head, I keep going back to actually uh, certain cities, but I'm like, it's all Michigan. I'm like, yeah, it's Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, all the major cities like that. You got Detroit's in Michigan. You have uh, Chicago and Illinois. You know, Philly's in Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh's in Pennsylvania. And you got New York City and. All the other areas in New York that are uh, are clustered of having this uh, COVID shit. Yeah. So I mean, those areas are getting hurt right now. I don't know. We'll Down to... here, no, no. We'll, we'll have to see what happens in the next uh, couple months. Yeah, month, two months. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, I, don't know. I agree. But. That's all I got for this episode. Now, what was the other thing? Oh, no, there was one other thing. If, if, any, if you guys haven't seen this shit, everyone knows who Dudley is at this point. If you don't know, throw the rock away because you, you've been hiding under too long. Anyway, so Dudley has been doing videos about, okay, I made this bow for this person. I made this bow for that person, blah, 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 blah. Well, Dudley's recently released a video, and I shared it on our Facebook page because it's just straight fucking awesome. He made a bow for one of the guys from Dude Perfect. It is an NTN bow, so the NXT 33 knock-on edition. It is set up, if I remember correctly from the video, it is 83-pound pole. Mm-hmm. Well, John shot the bow 500 yards and has like this wooden trailer, nitty-bitty wooden trailer. Probably not that big, maybe six, eight feet long, five feet wide. And uh, launches two arrows. First arrow, they don't know where the fuck it goes because they could, the, the kid that's sitting with the camera towards the target is before the target. They knew by the math if John put the bow on a specific angle, it would go into the, roughly the 500-yard range. So the kid's like sitting 50 yards before that. Yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, no, I can't see it. I can't see it. And doesn't know. So, well, the second arrow, of course, you know, it, it, it hits the trailer. Which is good. I mean, 500 yards shot, and he, John was pretty much putting the bow at a 45 degree, or, you know. More yeah, but they probably angle. did, like, how many takes before then? He doesn't stop the video. Yeah, but that's what you see. You right. don't see yeah, the videos yeah, yeah. deleted beforehand. Right. Well, you never know. I mean, he had, um, what's her name? Bailey Smith, one of his students, and she, she's been in a bunch of his videos with him. And she was recording it, and, like, you would literally watch it, and it looks like. Okay, hey, this is what we're doing right now. This is for the guy. He does the whole, like, you know, speech of this bow's for this, blah, 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 blah. We're going to try and pull a dude perfect thing here and launch it 500 yards. Right. And second arrow hits the trailer. Now, which was really cool because when the kid drives up at the quad, he's, like, looking through the binoculars. Like, oh, yeah, I think you hit it. I think it's a hit. And John's like, what? 
It's windy as shit. Like, you watch the video. It's 20 mile an hour wind. So, whatever. Kid drives up. Sure as shit. There's this, you know, Easton fucking arrow with AAE yeah. knock-on veins and whatever. The second arrow was three feet past the trailer. So, John literally put two arrows within, like, six feet of each other at 500 yards. If you really think about it, that's pretty fucking badass. Yeah. You know. Either way, it, it still is. Yeah, 500 yards with a fucking arrow. That's that's crazy Even if shit. it took you multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. people that could do it an infinite amount of times. I know people that can't hit five-foot groups <laughs> at 100 yards. Yeah. You hit a five-foot group at 500 yards. That's, that's, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Really, really cool. No matter how many times it took you to get there. It's still yeah, good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the fact that you were able to do it, man. Yeah. So... But yeah, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. It's a really, really cool video. Um, but yeah, that's the only other thing I had for today. That's it. So, okay, folks. Well, we'll be back. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some more stuff done here to uh, the inertia. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But we will be back. Everybody have fun. Be safe. We're Talk out. to you all next time.